Hi everyone, I'm Eileen Hull and I'm here at Sizzix today and I want to show you how to cut out a suitcase die and then some ideas for how to embellish it. Isn't this cute? All right, so what you need is your die and you'll notice that I have put tape on here and the reason I, I like to do that when I have um, spots that are like small holes, I put this cellophane tape on here and it helps the remnant circle there pop out. And um, so I do that on any piece that has kind of small pieces that are gonna come out. So you're also gonna need a sheet of mat board. I like this die because you only have to cut one time and you get all the pieces that you need to make the project. So we're just gonna take our mat board and make sure that we're covering all pieces, all spots on the die. And we're gonna make our Sizzix sandwich and send it through. If you wanted to cover it with paper before you die cut, then you'd wanna do that before you cut it. You wanna use adhesive, you can use, I like to use a strong sheet of adhesive because that keeps all areas of the dies on there. I have used a glue stick, but sometimes the adhesive is not that strong and things peel off. So, so what we have is the lid or the top of the suitcase. We have the base of it. And then here's the latch and here's the handle. So I'm just gonna pop those pieces out. So the way we're gonna put this together is so quick and easy. And the first thing we're gonna do is take our strong double-sided adhesive and we're gonna cover the tabs. Now you'll notice that there are holes in here. So if you wanted to just brad this, you could do that too. But I'm gonna just use tape for today. So what I've done is gone ahead and applied the adhesive to all of the tabs on, that we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold these over really quick. And there are a couple scores here that you wanna make sure to bend because that's gonna go around the corner and make it a rounded suitcase instead of just a straight. It makes it look more real. And you could go ahead and brad these too, but you don't need to, it should be fine. So all you're gonna do is assemble first the base and you're just gonna fold this around and you can match up the brad holes if you want, but you don't really need to. So here we have the base, and then I'm just gonna take this uh, lid, and make sure that's folded all the way over, set that inside, just kind of line it up, and press against the back, keep the lid on. And then this here is your closure, because you'll notice this does not close all the way. So you're just gonna lay this a little bit shy of this here, and the pressure of this piece will keep it closed. And then you just take your little handle and place that on top. And you can add all kinds of little charms or straps, whatever you'd like on here, but that's the basic idea of how to put it together. And it opens and closes really, so there you go. Let me show you some other ways that people have used this. Here we have one that actually looks like a little suitcase and then there's a message inside, which is really fun and a little mirror like an old vintage suitcase would have and these nice leather straps. Here's one that has a beautiful flower on with a sentiment. I love this one. This is like a little shadow box. So she took two suitcases and hinged them and then opened it and each side is really pretty. So there's one. This one is a Halloween one. Tracy did this and uh, she's got the buried treasure inside or skeleton inside. Here's a pretty little suitcase decorated with paper. Here's another one, a shadow box effect, but it's kind of going up this way instead of up and down. And then we have this one, which is also like another little shadow box. So I think you can see there are plenty ways to use this and uh, I hope you get the suitcase die and have some fun.